BBC One. Everything I do, I do it for you. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Christmas Day, 6.45. Boxing Day on BBC One, and Auntie's got some new bloomers. And the chaos continues at 6.25 when Big Arnie is put in charge of some little darlings. EastEnders is at ten past eight, and how is Grant feeling now that the traumas of Christmas Day are over? Well, I've never been happier. Now, why don't I believe that? Believe it. At 8.40, size up Christmas with the Porters. Whenever <laughs> at ten past nine. Screams in the night. It can only mean one thing. The Adams family are getting into the Christmas spirit, so why not drop in? At 11, Radio 1 joins forces with BBC One for the Prince's Trust Gala concert, Boxing Day on BBC One. Where can you find a vocal virtuoso? Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on a farm he had a horn. <laughs> a well balanced Norwegian, a flexible waitress, and a familiar host. I want you to have a good laugh at the trick I do on him because the one I do on you is worse. Join Paul Daniels for an evening at Secrets, Thursday at 8 on BBC One. The draw for the National Lottery is in just over an hour here on BBC One after Bruce Forsyth and a festive generation game. Life is the name of the game and I want to play the game Game. Nice to wish you a Merry Christmas. To wish you a Merry Christmas. Nice. And welcome to an hour of festive fun and frolics. And that's never good to say when you just had a drink. <laughs> and I've had a drink. Yeah, but I know, always know when I've had enough. I fall over. <laughs> and, and I tell you something, I'm worn out with the Christmas shopping. I was walking around one large store and I was exhausted. I just had to sit down and I did. Father Christmas said, get off me, you great wallet. <laughs> didn't even ask me what I wanted. <laughs> but then I walked around and then I bumped into Ronnie Corbett. He was standing there with a big smile on his face and some woman picked him up and said to the assistant, where do I put the batteries? <laughs> Poor Ron. Anyway, here she is, the prettiest of all decorations, that fascinating festive female, I have had a drink, Rosemary Ford! <laughs> Pretty as the fairy on a Christmas tree. Oh, well, I don't feel it. I'm worn out from all that Christmas shopping. Oh, you as well, eh? Oh, yeah, do you know, yeah. I went to one of the largest department stores in London the other day, and there was this huge sign on the wall, and it said, Babies must be carried up the escalator. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I'm not even married. <laughs> difficult, difficult. I see but, what you mean. Do you know, I must we'll say... We'll put a laugh in there. <laughs> <laughs> I must, I must say... <laughs> 
I'm in a funny mood tonight. <laughs> I hope it lasts. I must tell you what? that I, I, I did enjoy watching your little boy in his school nativity play. Oh, well, I'd rather not talk about that, if you don't mind. Just introduce the contestants. Oh, and I mean, you must have been so proud of him playing the innkeeper. Look, look, would you please just introduce the contestants? Oh, and when Mary and Joseph arrived at the inn and your little boy opened the door and said, Oh, come in, there's plenty of room. <laughs> I know he shouldn't have said that, I know, but, but would you please get on with the... Oh, and I just thought it was so sweet. It was really sweet when he said, and if you like, I'll give you a blanket and your donkey can kip down on the sofa. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. He ruined the whole play. I wouldn't mind, but he's been rehearsing since Easter. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and how about those three wise men? Yeah, they were wise men. They all did a runner. <laughs> now introduce the contestants before they do the same. Good to see. We'll put a laugh in there. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> right, our first team's from Cheshire, their father and daughter, Paul Kershaw and Melanie Hay. Right. <laughs> Right, now you are Melanie Hay. Hay, yes. You married Brian Hay in 16 months ago That's and right. you've been making hay ever since. <laughs> right. We... <laughs> Tell us about the wedding ceremony. Was that nice? It was a lovely ceremony. Yeah. Um, Brian actually picked the hymns for the wedding. Oh, did he? Yes. They were his favourite hymns from school assembly. Oh, yeah. So he actually picked Give Me All In My Lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've, I've never heard that one. But I, I hope it worked and you, you both saw the light. Uh, tell, us about, tell us about the honeymoon, then. We went on a lovely honeymoon and we did a cruise to Egypt and Israel. Yes. And on this honeymoon, I took six books with me and read them all. <laughs> Six books. I hope they're all love manuals. <laughs> Did Brian help you turn over? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> the pages! The pages, for goodness sake. Uh, now, what do you dislike? I absolutely detest licorice of uh, any shape or form. Oh, really? Well, it takes all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over now to your father, Paul... Kershaw. Abu Bun? Kershaw. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I'm in the car accessory business. Place. I see, fine. And the love of your life is Polly. Is that a woman or a parrot? Uh, it's actually a woman. Though. It is a woman. She talks like a parrot. Why, why, why couldn't you afford a parrot? <laughs> <laughs> now, what's all this about windsurfing in Ibiza? Uh, yes, we were on holiday in Ibiza, Bruce, yeah. and uh, I'd uh, spent quite a bit of money learning to windsurf. Oh, difficult. And isn't uh, it? it is difficult. Yeah. Spent a lot of time in the water. Yeah. And uh, I got uh, onto the board and sailed out into the bay. Yeah. And I, I found I couldn't turn the board round and get back to shore. Told you, what did you and, do? And um, so I had to take the, the shorts off and, and <laughs> wave them to attract attention. But if you took your shorts off, you wouldn't need to attract attention. <laughs> And what happened after that, then? Well, I was quickly spotted by two girls with binoculars. <laughs> I see, I bet they didn't know where to look for the best. <laughs> yeah, which end were they looking through? <laughs> <laughs> Any special talents have you got? Uh, well, I can make uh, chicken noises. Oh, can you? Um, yes. Oh, let's. Um, well, well, will you do some chicken noises into camera five? OK. <laughs> Was that it? Yes, sir. <laughs> it was beginning to work. Ada's going broody. Look at... All right, Ada? Fine. I won't tell a soul you're here. Anyway, thank you for being with us. If you'll pop over there, we've got a game coming up for you. Come on, nice people. Nice people. <laughs> what have we got now? Then? Our second team's from County Durham. Their uncle and niece, Bill Wood and Lynn Strachan. All right. Lynn Strachan. Strachan, yes, and what do you do, Lynn? I demonstrate photocopy machines. Oh, lovely, and you're married to John for ten years? Yes. Has John got any irritating habits? Oh, he munches apples all day. He has about two pounds of apples every day. Two pounds of apples every day? Yep. I bet he hasn't seen a doctor in years. <laughs> what do you think it's about a T-shirt? Ah, oh, well, I used to work for a company called Rub Buildings. Rub? Rub, oh, R-U-double-B. Oh, we had these T-shirts printed with Rub. Right across here. <laughs> no. I was so proud and naive, I wore it with such pride. Did you really? Yeah, but you can't imagine some of the, some of the comments I got yeah, about it. Yeah, I didn't comments. I mean, you were lucky you didn't come across a guy called Vic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Who would you like to meet the most, apart from me? Well, the Chippendales and Richard Gere. All right, say so you met the Chippendales, what would you do? No, just have dinner with them. Just have dinner with them, oh, I know. Yeah. You're saving Richard Gere for after. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know your sort. Right, over now to Bill there. There you are. Over to your Uncle Bill. Wood. Wood, I see. And what do you do, Bill? General manager of a factory. General manager of a factory, yes, and you're married to Rose. Yeah. Oh, she's Rosewood. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Has she got a nice finish? Nice finish. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right, and tell us about your stag night. It was evidently something interesting. Yeah, well, being a Geordie, yeah. we waited until uh, the night before to have a stag night. Yes. And I ended up with a big black eye. No. Yeah. What, the party got a bit rough? It did. <laughs> well, so it was something old, something new, and you were the something with black and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what happened after that then? Well, my sisters, uh, I've got four sisters, they put makeup on my eye, and Rose didn't actually notice it until oh. the figure said, You may kiss the bride. And, uh, and when you turned, the kids, but then she saw the yeah, shiner. Big shiner. Oh yeah. my goodness, that's lovely. So it was kiss and makeup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Well, I think it's, but it is Christmas, I have a drink. Right. Now, tell us about the honeymoon, right? The honeymoon? Oh, we couldn't afford a honeymoon. We couldn't even afford a teapot. Oh, really? No. So you didn't even have a pot to make a cup of tea? <laughs> Sake. <laughs> I didn't even have a pot to make a cup of tea in. What's the matter with you? <laughs> anyway, Bill, thank you very much for being here. Lynn, pop over there. <laughs> oh. All righty. Welcome, welcome. Before our first game, I'd just like to remind you that our contestants have no idea what we have planned for them. They do not rehearse. This is your rehearsal. Our first game is called Stern. But first of all, have a listen to this. Stern is a special Christmas dance arranged for us by our very good Austrian friends, the Track 10 group of shrooms, Montafon. just here. You get over the other side there, Melanie, and you stay here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do everything they do. We're ready now for Stern Dance, take two. <laughs> in there, you go in there, Lynn. Okay, and Bill, you come here. We're ready now for Stern Dance, take three. <laughs>
We have a couple back on. Now then, this is a little surprise for you, okay? So all four of you, watch over. It's got to give up and decided to 